Is it kind of surreal that you're sitting here and now you're talking about season two? It's been a year since the world discovered this. Yeah. It hasn't felt like a year. Uh, yeah. Really? I feel like it, it feels like five. Really? <laughs> yeah. It feels like yeah, in a way packed. it feels like two months and then seven years. So, oh, I guess. Well, I can't relate with that. Okay, well, funny. never mind. <laughs> Did you have a feeling? Did you know it was going to hit and resonate with the world like this? I did not necessarily. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew I, I knew that it would resonate with um, with people for sure, but I don't think that any of us predicted the scale that it would mm -hmm. reach people at. So yeah. it was definitely very cool and exciting. So yeah. fill in this sentence. I remember my first day on the set of Thirteen Reasons because I yelled at Brandon, who plays Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Actually, that's a lie. We did our Monet's. First, that's what we filmed. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I think it was the first time I ever drove a car on set and having to precision park. <laughs> so I kept on hitting the sandbags, and <laughs> I think Steven Silver was in the seat next to me, and he, oh, yeah. he was giving me the eye because I was not getting it. But anyway. <laughs> it's one thing to hit your mark, but to hit your mark with a machine. With a car. A thing. Yeah. Gives so. you a new respect for stunt drivers who yeah. have to do that oh, or yeah. slide in. Yeah, do yeah. like a donut into the parallel parking. That, right. Could never do that. You're so cool. Every episode is important, but what's an episode that stands out that 10, 20 episodes from now, 10 or 20 products from now, you'll go back to this one moment in time? Ooh. An episode, you mean, of this show? Yeah. Oh, wow. Probably for me, is the 13, 13, episode 13. Yeah, the, of the first season, they had yeah. that finale. Yeah. And why? The when they showed the the the, the bathtub scene with with sure. Hannah, ooh, sure. I rem like I I knew it was gonna happen, but I knew like leading up to it, I was trying to prepare, and I was just not. Uh, that will stick with me for a long time. Yeah. And what I love about it, I think it may have taken some heat early on from people jumping to conclusions saying, well, it's dealing with all of this really heavy stuff mm -hmm. um, without any consequence. But in fact, don't you think it's opening up a greater conversation about all these deep things? I agree completely. I definitely feel that way. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of people feel that way as well. It's just that um, negative uh, negativity tends to like get more publicity, I suppose, or people mm -hmm. like talking about it more. So I think it got people... I think more people were affected positively than negatively, ultimately. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this show that's designed probably more for people your age is also resonating with people like every other person I know my age binge watches this show? I think everyone can relate to it. I mm -hmm. think everyone can relate to how they felt. Um, and plus we do um, explore the parent side of it as well. And it helps bridge the generational gap with teens nowadays because of social media at such a different age. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, everyone goes through that high school experience. Everyone knows what it's like to not know who you are exactly and to want to fit in and to, to not know who to talk to. So, uh, yeah, I think everybody relates to that no matter how old you are. Thank you. ABC 10 presents Extra Butter with Marcus Allen.